as I mentioned in the previous video, the area that's now to our right will not change, but the area to the left will. Sick twice in one morning. This time it must be right. We do have the combination for this. We got it from the black light uh, numbers on the chalkboard. Nothing seems to work. I wanted something so badly that nothing else matters. His hands were shaking with fear. There was no use trying to hide it. The lamp handle was rattling and the light was dancing all over the place, making it look far more scary than it actually was. You okay? asked Andy, trying not to laugh. What are we doing? barked Rob. Looking for the knocker, remember? He must not be here, Andrew offered disappointedly. How do you know? whispered Rob. Because he can smell fear. If he was in here, you'd be a goner already. At that moment, three loud bangs echoed through the whole mine shaft. Oh, crap! cried Rob. What the hell was that? Andrew said nothing. Again, three loud bangs, followed by three more. They're getting closer! Rob yelled. More banging and more banging. Rob felt paralyzed, and Andrew just stood behind him, saying nothing. The banging got closer and closer, until a figure could be seen. Something. What was it? Moving closer and closer, banging all the time. Oh, God! What are we going to do? cried Rob. And just then, the figure came into the light. It was their little brother. Harry! yelled Rob. Andrew fell to the floor laughing. That was priceless, Rob. Three of the projector puzzles on this level are associated with wooden locked trunks, and by solving the projector you can unlock the trunk. This is some kind of piston room for steam pistons, and you can operate just a few of them at a time. Stop trying so hard. Relax and give it time. Doctor's orders. If you'll notice, one of them is missing its piston. We have seen them before. Way back in the first level, 
Oh, uh, you may have noticed this in the previous video, but when I was playing, I didn't notice it until just now. I think that probably used to be a cup based on where it's sitting. I'm not really sure what happened there. Anyway. Pistons. We picked that up in uh, the workshop. Trying and trying for months. So we now have every piston operational, but we don't know how to operate them. The solution to this is in the room below us. Some of these pistons look different than the others. They have these sort of, I don't know what you'd call them, rings. And they are at different heights. So if you go from the lowest to the highest, there's five of them. And you operate them in the same order up above. Screams of pain turn into cries of joy. A room silenced by the tiniest little person as the doctors hand him over for the first time. It's Wednesday. I sent my report off two days ago now, so we'll have to wait and see what happens there. I spent an hour talking with Jim today. He's a very loving son, and I think having him here for the sessions albeit briefly, has had a marvellous influence. We were talking together about the dummy he had as a child, and how he didn't stop using one until he was almost four. Laughter can play a huge part in this treatment, and this is the first real time I've been able to put it into practice. We're really getting through. One more day and then freedom. One more day to the smell of the sea. One more sleep and then home. Here's our piston if we hadn't brought one from the very beginning of the game. The soft brown paper with a light inlay from where the ink had been printed. Today, this ticket was as precious as gold itself.
Once again, we got the combination for this from the blacklight chalkboard. But how would they see the stories? Everything seems backwards now. New York to Plymouth. Ten days at sea. Ten days until everyone heard the stories. The great adventure. Broken. Ah. Help. Remember. Fragments. Torn. Now that we've figured out what's going on with these reels, we need to figure out what order they go in. And the clue to that is on this painting. So we need to fat her. And if you remember the words that were on the reels, um, we don't quite have the right ones just yet. So we now have each word that we need, but we need to put them in a different order. I did this right on the first try, I'm very proud of myself.
fragments are torn. Help everyone remember. There are no heroes at war. Only those who made it home and those who didn't. We're now going to visit 420 Fathoms, which is the level where the mine disaster happened in 1966. One year and 11 months. Home seems so far away now. as easy as taking an order. This projector is named the Miner's Vigil Projector, and this area is set up as a vigil for the miners that were lost. This puzzle is actually a little bit bugged, so I've had to do some little bits of editing here and there to cut out uh, useless footage. So essentially what you need to do here is fill in the bits of the visual. That actually is part of the bug, I shouldn't have placed that just yet. But taking a life? Ending something because it was ordered to be ended? Just like in the case, we can blow out and relight candles. And if you go through and count all of them, there's 35 candles in this area.
Now generally with a vigil, what you need to do is light a candle for every soul. And if you've been keeping track of the newspaper articles and some of the chalkboard information in the industrial area, you'll know how many miners were assigned to this fathom. As easy as taking an order. And that number is 23. So we need to have 23 candles lit. And the bug is that sometimes the candles and the Bible don't trigger like they should. You need to, you know, keep trying a few times, I guess, and have the Bible placed on a various podium. I, I, from what I understand, it's not always the same one. So you can see me wandering around a little bit here and doing some math. trophy of life or a trophy of death? How many men should die so that others can live? So it turns out that was the magic podium. We now have our third piece of drill, which according to the notes in this level, were needed in order to drill through the tough rock which miners encountered, which might have a jackpot of tin behind it. And this next little bit of puzzle that we are solving, I think is probably reenacting the actual mine disaster. more to the world than this small place. Just a click of this camera and all the places you've wanted to see become memories forever. In this puzzle you just have to chase the bird cages. Obviously these are representative of canaries which were used as early warning signals of breathable air in mines. And I think this chamber actually represents the Devil's Chamber, which we saw in the poem earlier in this video. This puzzle is slightly frustrating because they don't stay lit for very long. There's a bit of faith involved. A 
America has so much to offer. All you'd have to say is... Yes. Although Phyllis isn't here to tell us so, we now have all the ribbon fragments, so we can go view another core memory. Thank you. 